Mr. Brett Dalton, it's so great to finally meet you. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice uh, to I'm, meet you as well. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, one of the many reasons I started to watch Found was because you're in it. Um, obviously, I am the mayor of Nertropolis. I, you know, loved Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That was my, you know, one of my favorite shows. So to follow you to Found was amazing. But what kept me watching was Shinola, who is a powerhouse, I must say. And I got to talk to her about season one, and I had a mm -hmm. blast with her. Uh, can you talk about the first time you met Shinola? Uh, sure. Well, hopefully I can live up to that. I mean, you had a great time with her. I mean, way to raise the bar from the very beginning. We did, and she said she was a big nerd and everything, and we nerded out together. So, yeah, that was oh, a great did you? Okay. <laughs> well, I want to please the mayor here, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, Shinola is fantastic. We actually uh, did uh, a, um, a callback for the part. And I knew from there, I mean, we had a connection even online. I mean, that's what it was because we were doing FaceTime. That's how everything is these days. It's all on the computer, um, you know, and our auditions, that whole process. We're not in the rooms anymore, but I could tell even through the computer, like this is, there's some sort of spark, some sort of connection. And even when we were on set, there's just, I don't know, it's just this kind of like understanding here. Um, I don't know what it is is but i think that that's what we're also trying to capture and that's good casting it's like there's some sort of lightning in a bottle there's some sort of alchemy going on and and it's there and and it's it's a really beautiful thing i think especially to witness in the the first season because um you know just put us in a room and we're talking about something but then we're also kind of flirting and talking about something else as well and there's just there's a lot of stuff going on at the same time which hopefully is is interesting to watch yeah it is uh everyone has yeah. uh great chemistry uh it's easy to find in the beginning you know most shows it takes a while for you to like like the cast or kind of figure them out but with found i feel like it was immediate you know everyone that's introduced it's like oh i'm all in with all these people i don't need yeah. to know much about it uh one of the questions that asked Shinola that i wanted to mm -hmm. ask you is what do you think sets found apart from other shows in the same category you know what's the secret sauce um, I do think that it is the characters. I think you hit the nail on the head. I mean, for me, um, this isn't just your, your uh, you know, cookie cutter uh, procedural. We've seen those. We love those. It's great. But I think that this really takes the time to develop these characters. They're all damaged. They all have their own sense of trauma. Um, and all of these are, are survivors of of kidnapping as well and that's why they're they're teamed together here they're turning their their trauma into uh passion and purpose so you know I, it's pretty great even in the pilot as you said like we get to see them obviously as capable um uh people in this in this quest to reunite um uh the lost and forgotten with uh with their their parents and their loved ones but at the same time, we also see that these are flawed characters, each and every one of them. So we get to see them in, in their job and then we get to see them at home and it's not always the same. And I think that that's what's so great about all of this is that they all have so much. There's so much to explore. Every single one of these characters, there's so much to explore. And uh, and it's you know, they're not just people who like clock in and that's the only time we get to see them. We also get to see them like when they're they're not in the office and um, they have a lot to to deal with. And in spite of all of that, they are still solving cases and uh, and uh, doing the right thing. Yeah, it's a great show. You know, this genre I enjoy, but it's not always my favorite. But the stamp of approval that y'all got was from my fiance, Marixa, who loves these types of shows. And oh, just yeah. a couple of days ago, you know, as I was going to talk to you, I was like, hey, you want to watch a couple episodes? And they weren't like the first episodes. It was midway through. And she was glued from the get go. So this show is, you know, regardless of where you want to pick it up, start from the beginning. But if you catch it sometime and it's on or whatever, just watch it. And it's going to make you want to go back. And uh, wow. super excited for season two. Uh, I don't want to give anything away. Season two is, oh, man. <laughs> Well, I mean, we got, we got the stamp of approval from the mayor and the first lady. I mean, this, this is pretty good here. We're in pretty good standing. No, it, it's a, such a great show. And, you know, despite the serious tone of the series, how light is the atmosphere on the set behind the scenes? I think it's even more so because of it. I mean, if you really stop and think about some of the cases we are we're solving, it, it can get pretty heavy. It can get pretty deep. But um, 
you know, at the end of the day, we are shooting a TV show. These are based on actual events and actual um, stories um, from the news and from the past. And so, you know, it, it can get heavy. It can get deep. But I think even from the pilot, what I appreciated and liked is, yes, we solve these cases, but it's also done with a lot of dignity. And um, I don't think that it's like... It's not quite so cheesy, okay? I mean, I think it's done really well. That's what I mean with dignity. I mean, we, we don't stay in there forever and, oh, God, thank you. I mean, there's a lot of relief that happens. There's a lot of all of that. But I, I, I do think that it's really handled well, and it satisfies the people who are watching, um, you know, procedural and solving a case and doing all of that. But then I think it also satisfies in a different way. There is an emotional connection at the end. And... You know, it's uh, it's I think it's a beautiful thing to witness. It's it's done really well. And uh, I'm really happy to be a part of it. And it seems important, and relevant. And, you know, we got we got the mayor of <laughs> Charlotte and his first lady. I mean, I can't impress that point enough. That's 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 some pretty heavy seals of approval there. No, our eyes are wide open, glued watching it. You know, it's not cheesy at all, like you mentioned. That's what's so unique about it. And if it is, it's for a reason. It's to make a moment light and it's because it is a serious matter. But uh, yeah. the performances are so great. The serious tone is great. I mean, the whole cast is great. I can go on and on and on. Um, but, Please you know, do. we got all day. I, mean, <laughs> I don't on. think we have all day. But <laughs> I do want to ask you, though, uh, you know, as the mayor of Neurotropolis about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before we wrap it up, uh, sure. you know, Grant Ward's journey, you know, took some pretty wild turns. What was your reaction when you first learned about, you know, that big reveal? And did you enjoy playing the hero and the villain? Uh, I enjoyed playing the villain more. Uh, it's kind of nice to... Uh, uh, to play someone who does not have to play by the rules. I mean, it, it was great. It was it was great to have uh, somebody still working on his own code, uh, living by his own code, but also like somebody who was just shaking stuff up. And that's what was great, because in, in a show like that, you have the good guys and you have the bad guys. And you have this person who's kind of in between, who's the wild card. And sometimes he is a good guy. Sometimes he's not such a good guy. So it was just it was just fun because it kept me guessing. And um, there was just kind of like nothing that was off the table. I was happy opening every script and wondering, like, how is he going to mess up people's days today? Uh, so that part was lovely. And, you know, my mom is very happy this time around that uh, that I'm not playing the bad guy again. Um, she was like, you play a great bad guy, but if you did this one, uh, I think that that might stick to you a little bit. People might, you know, playing a kidnapper is a little bit different. So I'm glad you don't have Mark Paul's part. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I get you. I get you. Um, but it is nice. And I think that maybe Mark Paul feels a, a sense of freedom there as well, because, um, yeah, I don't know if freedom is the right word, but whenever you're playing like the villain, like they they get to do things that, you know, um, that the good guys just don't get to do. And uh, sometimes they're fun and sometimes they're a little disturbing. But um, as an actor, I think it's really fun to inhabit that because we don't get to do that in real life. You know? I've heard from many great actors such as yourself that playing the villain is a lot of fun. I, I hear that quite a bit. Uh, but yeah. it was just like your mom, I'm sure. I shed a tear when that turn happened. And I was like, no, <laughs> the fan favorite. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And and I do miss it. But also, you know, this is this is a great show that I'm I'm happy to be a part of as well. And and uh, and it is nice uh, playing somebody who is very much the good guy. And uh, and so, yeah, it's it's really cool. <laughs> Last I want to ask, I want to showcase yeah. this real quick. Uh, I have my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. little briefcase here. Oh, and, uh, signed by Agent Coulson there. himself. This is Agent Coulson signed it uh, himself, yeah. but this is the box set um, for, I think, Phase 2. So all the movies are in here with the Tesseract. It's pretty awesome, and it oh, lights up. So uh, on this note, I want to end it. If you get a phone call from the MCU, they want to bring you back for this multiverse Air, are you in? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yes. Look, I've already died like two, three times. What's a fourth at this point? You know, bring me back. Let's go. If Loki could die many times, uh, I think you can. Come too. on, exactly, exactly. Look, there's always room in the MCU to bring back anybody and everybody, and uh, and all they have to do is give me a ring, and uh, the answer is yes. 
There you go. Bring Shinola with you. Uh, I think she'd be a great fit yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I do too. Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, found season two. Wow. What a great start. I think I've got to watch three episodes. They sent me a couple more. I'm all in. Like I have to watch them all in one sitting. I feel like uh, oh, so great. everyone's so everyone's going to be excited to where season two leads into it. It's a wild. Wild. Yeah, yeah it keeps you on the edge of your seat too. And it, it never lets up. I mean, 22 episodes is a lot of content. It's a lot of material, but each and every one of these episodes, it feels like the dial keeps getting turned up more and more and more, more and more problems. It's like the worst day in our lives, but it's the best television for everyone watching. So um, it's, it's a lot happens. We start off from the very beginning in the deep end and we only get deeper and deeper and deeper. And uh, I think the show has really found uh, a new intensity and a new pace. And it's, it's really exciting to watch. So yeah. great television is what we need. Quality, great television. This is it. This is found. That's right. Uh, Mr. Brett Dalton, thank you so much. It was an extreme pleasure. And hopefully I can get you, you to sign um, my briefcase the next time I see you in person. No, I know. I was just going <laughs> to say, like, that needs a couple of signatures. <laughs> yeah. Send me a Sharpie. Let's go. Yes. Thank you so much. You're so welcome.